How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I mean Ethan got a little thing we're working on here. Uh, he's hiding here somewhere eating his little muffins. Muffins! Muffins. Alright, so uh, I got this idea. Well, we both have had this idea for the last couple weeks to uh, to put a snorkel on this basically. We're going to make a homemade snorkel and uh, we're basically just going to submerge. So, yeah, so, <laughs> submerge this thing. Uh, I think it'll do alright. Uh, we got our supplies here make it work and it's going to be sticking out and all kinds of fun stuff and then I got this pipe to extend the straight pipe out so uh, we can fully submerge this underwater. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to get to stripping this down. Uh, we're probably just going to take plastics and all this crap off it. I mean they're all cracked up because Ryan decided to run into it with this sportsman uh, uh, like a week ago so we're just going to take all that off because you know, weight reduction. <laughs> Hopefully we don't completely kill this thing. We're gonna make the first ever Chinese uh, wheelerine, you know? Kinda like submarine, just it's a wheeler, but marine, you know, wheelerine. I think, uh, I think it's a catchy name. Take them all. Fun. It's a four by two. Four by two. Four by two is now uh Yeah that, that, that looks pretty cool I think. Stripped out. Stripped out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Well uh, could you show what up? That went off of the trailer too. Oh yeah, here you go. Have your muffins, here you go. I feed people when they what? come and do my video. Woo! Yeah, we got some muffins here. Red, red. Look at that. Fits on there, man. And we'll just take some sealant and seal it. Cause I don't think they got a boot that size. We'll zip tie it right there. It'll kind of go off at an angle, but it'll work. You gonna be able to steer it though? Oh yeah. Okay. It'll be mint. Just like that. I'll just have to uh, put sealant around this to seal the seal it up so no water gets in there. All right, so I got the uh, snorkel part of it done. May extend it to go up higher, but uh, I mean, I think that's pretty good. I mean, we won't be able to get that underwater and still have like a foot. I wonder if we like acetylene torch heat this, can we bend I got this a, up? I got a torch that'll heat that up. And then like bend this up? Well, you might be able to bend it and just put like a seat, make like a- Well, that's what I'm thinking, or we can make it so it's like a wheelie bar. Yeah, <laughs> like a wheelie bar. <laughs> it's fine for now. So all I gotta do is I gotta pull the exhaust off and I gotta weld the extension onto it. And then, uh, I mean, it's pretty much all set. We'll just, we'll end up taking it out tomorrow, out to the really deep part at Ryan's, and uh, sending it. That's all they did, anyways. They heated it up. Uh, just cut it. it. Just cut it and add copper. Can you imagine Ryan buying a coffee for his girlfriend? It'd be like one peepee -pee Dutch. <laughs> one peepee -pee Dutch, one coffee. Three peepee -pee Dutch. <laughs> no, you can three peepee -pee Dutch and we, we call it good. I'll blow through it. Huh? Plug the other end of that so I can blow through it. Ready? There's an air leak. Right anyway, away. Yeah, because I just let it go. I oh. wanted to test it. Do it again. Nothing. Nothing. That's pretty good. Ryan will drive it. No, I won't. Why? 
So? Alright, so it's all welded, nice and mint. We check for air leaks, no air leaks of course, because my professional welding. My professional, professional, professional welding. Ass. Professional ass welding. So we're just gonna stick this bad boy back on and uh, we're gonna be gonna be good tonight. I think they got some extensions, so uh oh we got like twenty God. feet right there. That. It's pretty good. Alright, so we got it all together. I uh, just test fired it. This thing sounds I don't know, it's not really loud. I think it's quieter, but uh there you go, put a block on it. We're gonna jump this thing. Doesn't run. No. Guy, yeah, that's definitely not quieter. <laughs> Just run another extension. <laughs> well, uh, Till tomorrow, guys. Several days later. All right, guys. So it's the next day, and uh, we're getting the uh, Suzuki and the 110 all loaded up. Uh, I finished the 110 the other day. I just lubed the chain up. I uh, sealed the side case, and uh, you know, ran the uh, ran the crankcase breather and made sure everything was all tight and uh, all the PVC pipe wings all glued together. So we're gonna go and see how how the uh, wheelerine does underwater. <laughs> just look at that PVC pipe and everything. Just, I mean, this thing looks absolutely ridiculous, but badass at the same time. The throttle is definitely high, so uh, I'll put it up against this tree so it don't roll, around, roll away, but it's, uh, it's pretty dope. That's really deep. Hey, that's really deep. That's <laughs> all. I'll give you a push.
out too well. <laughs> ah, socks in the mud. Oh, she's getting warm. We're gonna have to put this in a, a water real soon before this thing explodes. Send it, keep it. You gotta drag it all the way through like a real man. Nothing to stop it. Look at you still going. <laughs> Jeez, that's some thick mud. I think we need to put this in some water before we blow it up. Jeez. <laughs> this poor bad. This, this thing is just is just taking it. What? <laughs> it's down to your knees. <laughs> well, I guess if it can survive mud, it can survive water, right? Fucking steaming right out the crankcase breather. Break the snorkel. I lost my sock. Oh, sock down. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to bring it out to the water hole. Toby walk through it. I'm just Step right there, yeah. I'm just, I'm just testing to see how deep it is. He's already about up to his knees. Oh, Lord, that's cold. It's like sitting in a refrigerator. Jeez. It is that oh, hot. Man. It's that cold. Oh. It'll definitely be good right here. It'll, it'll be underwater. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to pull it out later. Um, I don't know how deep it is over there, but... <coughs> oh. Yeah, that's cold. It might float. This is not a deep a little hole. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Keep drive. over the crankcase and it's over the car. You gotta go deeper, you gotta go deeper. Huh? Bring it over to the right some more, you gotta go deeper. So it's over the car. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd say it's dead now. It kinda works. No, that didn't quite work out. We gotta go back to his house and reseal some things. I don't know, I did stay running quite a bit. I don't know, we'll probably come out another time water is getting a little nippy, but uh, I mean it did pretty good, I bet, hold on, I bet it, hook this boost pack up too again, we'll see if it'll start. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <Just> man, <laughs> a little bit of water. Damn it, man. All right, well, we're gonna have to carry this thing out of the woods. Once we get back, we'll see how, we'll see if we can open it up.
races up and down the road. We made it back. Uh, I think the 110 is done for now. The, uh, I should say the wheelerine is, isn't going to be going out for a little while. Uh, we're going to have to definitely seal it up better this time because this tape didn't hold like, you know, somebody thought it would. And, uh, I think the PVC piping stretched getting hot because it came loose from the carburetor. But other than that, I mean, it still tried to run, but it won't stay running. So I'm going to have to screw with it, take the take the bowl off and everything because I'm pretty sure there's water in the carburetor now but uh, you know, it, was, it was quite a day got leaky boots <laughs> yeah. yeah so that's the end of that video but I hope you guys enjoyed um burnt my leg by the way a little bit right here because it you know ended up uh, I ended up slipping and touching the exhaust a little bit but that's all. You guys can give me likes. You know, that's, that can be your sympathy. You know, give me likes and uh, also subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, we're going to do something else with the 110, probably clean it up and seal it better and then try to get it even further in there. It did go in. It did work a bit until, um, you know, that sealant didn't really, it didn't seal very well around the carburetor and plus the piping stretched out a little bit. So, uh, you know, nothing we can do about that. But, you know, I mean, we got it out there. Had a little fun. It's a rough ride, but hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, so you guys don't miss more content. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring it out again sometime. All right, guys. Mm -hmm.